Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am book lover Lorna, and today we're doing a if you like this, you'll like this. Basically, books picked from my shelves that if you liked this one, you're probably gonna like this one, from my opinion. Disclaimer, can't guarantee that you're gonna love the other book, but in my opinion, it's very highly likely. So this is essentially some kind of cheeky book recommendations. And I feel like this could be quite a useful video for some people. So, you know, stay watching. Now, first one is, if you liked The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, which I feel like a lot, a lot of people did, I did, thoroughly enjoyed it, thought it was an excellent book. You'll also love Secret She Kept by Kathy Golke. Now, this one is a very kind of similar pre premise. So it's like set during the war, there's Nazis, etc, etc. And there is a little bit of kind of camp based stuff. But it's kind of that outside of that and kind of being in a family when one of your family members kind of goes down the wrong path. And it is so incredibly well written. I absolutely loved this book also love this one and I was like this can't be that good because I don't feel like it's gonna do it as well as Heather Morris did it. Trust me it did. It's massively recommend this read. Hugely recommend it. You need to read it. It's obviously the kind of thing that if you've read The Tattooist of Auschwitz it's not that you won't enjoy that one because I thoroughly enjoyed both and actually will massively recommend both. Also uh, if you've read The Tattooist of Auschwitz and you really enjoyed it you also need to read Silka's Journey because that's thoroughly enjoying as well. Um, thoroughly enjoying in the aspect of it's such a well-written book that it keeps you hooked. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, that one you also need to read because it's such a good extension of The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Now I know some of you, and if you haven't, because I know there's not loads of people that have read these, if you haven't you need to if you like a thriller, like an investigative thriller, um, the Cara Hunter books, the Close to Home series, essentially, it's not the Close to Home series, it's the D.I. Adam Fawley series. Um, if you like those books, which I thoroughly do, and I know a few people that do, but also if you like a thriller, you need to get to know this book and this series. It's very good. Well, I haven't read the whole series yet. I've only read two books, soon to be three. So, you know, um, yeah. But if you like that, I think that you'll like The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. Um, this is essentially like a bank robbery but set in the times of the bank robbery with some flashbacks of like her previous life as a con artist and I just think it's very very good like if you like a, a kind of crime scene or a crime thriller where like it's not necessarily a thriller as such but it's kind of a investigation team kind of getting to the bottom of something. I think you'll really enjoy this. This was very, very well written and a very like easy read book. I feel like this is the kind of one that you could pick up over a weekend and just devour it. So massively recommend. And I'd say if you like a kind of like, like I say, an investigation team, something like that, I feel like you'll enjoy this. Now, I know a lot of us enjoy a Lisa Jewell thriller. I myself am one of those people. So I've just picked one randomly up off my shelf. This one I didn't actually love that much, funnily enough. But I know we all like a Lisa Jewel thriller, just maybe not specifically this one. This was just the first one that I could see on my shelves that I'd actually read. Um, so her thrillers are generally a little bit on the edge of your seat, not too scary. Um, maybe a little bit of like, you know, crime in there with maybe a murder or something like that. Someone's died. Um, generally just quite engaging and I would say if you enjoy a Lisa Jewell thriller that you would enjoy The Hit List by Holly Seddon. This is one that I really enjoyed. It is essentially this woman finds herself on a list of names of a hit list, so people to be killed, on the dark web on, a, on her dead husband's laptop and I just think that's such a good idea for a story and it was very engaging I thoroughly enjoyed it and it made me buy another Holly Seddon book I almost said her name wrong then so would massively recommend that I will read you the blurb on this one actually so what would you do if you found your name on a hit list on the anniversary of our husband's accidental death 
Marianne seeks comfort in everything Greg left behind. She wears his t-shirt and his cologne, reads their love letters and emails. She Soon she's following his footsteps across the web, but her desperation to cling to any trace of him leads her to the dark web and a hit list with her name on it. Trying to save herself from Sam, the assassin hired to kill her, Marianne must first unpick the wicked web in which Greg became tangled. Was Greg trying to protect her or did he want her dead? This is a very good book very good so yeah if you enjoy a lisa jewel thriller the hit list i believe would be for you now this is more of a general recommendation but one that i'm making because it's something that kind of happened to me uh i loved the i heart series by lindsay kelp i love these more than her individual books actually but i really enjoyed this series it's just very light-hearted funny romancy reads and you know there's a little bit of kind of girl power in there as well and they're just generally very good books there's like seven or something like that in the series they're very nice books to read and I loved those when I was getting into reading and I would still love them now to reread them um but as I got further into my reading journey and discovered more authors I discovered Holly Martin obviously I had to mention her in this video so I've just picked up I think this was like one of it wasn't the first but it was one of the first books that I read from her this is Holiday Cottage by the Sea but I think that if you enjoy the I Heart series you'll enjoy any of Holly Martin's books like I love them all I give them all four or five stars 90% of them I give them five stars and I just think that if you enjoy kind of uh the light-hearted funny bit of romance here and there these are a little bit more romancy um in the aspect of like not steamy they are a little bit in places actually not 100 percent like steamy romance but a bit of like easy reading poolside romance but you just absolutely love the characters so any holly martin book is like that um so i don't have a specific recommendation but if you like the i heart series you'll like holly martin books I am just determined to get everyone reading Holly Martin books because they're so good and I am just head over heels in love with them. So those are my recommendations of books that if you like this you'll also like that or it might be if you also like this then you also like that I'm not sure which side it is that I need to point to but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Please do go and read some of these books and support some of these authors because all the books that I've mentioned are all amazing reads and incredibly well written and written by very very good authors so please do go and give them a chance and get some pages read anyway it's a very short video today so that's all from me thank you very much for watching and happy reading bye